Hey Paw Shrieks, welcome back. Today I have an exciting collection to share with you guys. I think I'm gonna start collecting the Ella and Mila polishes. I think that's gonna be the brand that I add this year and I'm super excited to start out with the ballet collection. So this is the first time I've tried Ella and Mila. I've seen it on Instagram and I'm just excited to try them and I think they're gonna start sending me the collection so that should be really exciting. Another good thing about this line is they're available at Beyond Polish and they have this ballet collection available now. You can buy it as a whole eight piece set or you can buy the polishes individually. I do think the whole set is a little bit cheaper on the Ella and Mila website just because it's on sale and just so that you guys are aware. But they do have them at Beyond Polish. You can use my discount code there. It's golari 10 and that's an affiliate link. And I love that company. Anytime you order polishes from there, they come wrapped so well and I it just ensures that they're never going to break and you always know they're going to get there to your doorstep safely. And I just really appreciate their customer service. They're just a really fantastic brand that I'm happy to say that I work with. Okay, so a few things about this Ella and Mila brand. It says they're 17 free, they're animal free, cruelty free, vegan, they're quick dry, chip resistant, and they're made in the USA, which is always a bonus. They also sent me five polishes that they let me pick and they're just fun bright shades. I decided to keep those separate. I might just post them on Instagram or I might do a short review. So this collection is an eight piece collection. As I said, there's four shimmers or glitters and then there's four creams which are amazing. I love that they're all light soft feminine colors. The brush handle's a little bit short. I did find it a little difficult to get the bottles off especially with the new polishes because they were on so tight. I just couldn't quite grip it because the bottle lid was just a little bit short but I do think they look proportionate so I don't know if I'd make it longer. Anyway, I mean these are just things that I've noticed but the brush is a little bit short. I wouldn't say stubby, but everything's just a little bit shorter, which was nice. It was fine to work with. I don't have problem working with anything. Um, and most of the brushes were consistent. I did have one that was just a little bit off um, as far as the cut goes, but you get that with any brand. They also sent me some nail polish remover that I'm going to be trying out, and I'm super excited. It comes in this gorgeous little bottle that's really heavy, just nice. And some nail polish removing wipes that are really nice to have when I'm traveling, so I'm definitely going to be saving that for that. That purpose and I haven't used this yet but this is the top and base coat duo that they're sending me so I'll be curious to try it out I do have a hard time getting away from my glisten and glow top coat but maybe I'll give it a try <laughs> I didn't today um, so let's talk about what I am wearing on my nails it's one of the polishes from this collection and hopefully you can see it it's it's a brighter color so sometimes with the lighting they don't show up as bright as they are but it is beautiful you guys I'm really really loving these warm pinks and I'll talk about it when I get to it but I just I can't get enough of them and it looks so cute with this blue you probably can't really see it I think I'll post a picture on Instagram of it so you guys can just really see what the colors like because it is stunning 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 and I'm also really into blue <laughs> this spring I tend to kind of get in color moods and stick with it for seasons and um, I've had this for a while I'll link it if it's still available down below I'm not sure that it is but I'm loving these shades of blues any kind of denim blue darker or lighter I'm just loving and I think these warm pinks just pair perfectly so I think that's why I'm liking them so much but I'm also really liking the light blue colors especially ones that have been coming out recently so anyway I'll link those items all down below let's get into the collection I'm gonna start out with the white one of course I always start out with the lightest and this is ballet it on me it's a really good nice clean white it wasn't yellow toned or anything and I really like those clean cooler tone leaning whites and this one's really fantastic the form is really great it's a little bit Bit thinner I do believe it's gonna thicken up a little bit over time which a lot of these whites do so I did have to use three coats but I imagine after some time I think with this formula it will apply nicely in two coats as it tends to dry up just a little bit over time so I really liked this clean white I'm always looking for a good white I think my favorite white is Essie Blanc but this might be my second I think I just really love it I didn't do any comps for this just because it's a white it is a clean white but I really thought this one was great this is a beautiful shade this is called pirouette and it's a beautiful nude I would say slightly pink leaning sheer polish and I love these kind of sheer polishes especially in spring I think it's a perfect time to wear them and especially in summer because I think with the tan they just kind of pop I had a great formula I feel like this is a little more opaque than some of the other classic shears that are similar to this from other brands so I liked that a lot it built up really nicely in three coats it does have a little bit of white in the base which helps it stand out even more which I love and I 
I think it's going to be so gorgeous when I have a tan this summer and I'm, I'm hoping I remember to pull this one out because I think it'll be the perfect time to wear it and it's beautiful and glossy. I really wanted to show how it compared to some classic new cheers like this, especially ones that are more pink leaning, just so you can get an idea of what kind of color tone that it is and it is a little different than some of those. So let's look at those and talk about it. So I compared it to OPI Bubble Bath, which is a true classic and that one's the closest, but as you can see, it's a little bit more pink. Ballet Slippers has a little bit more of a white color tone to it. And then I compared it to Fairy Taylor, another one of my favorite sheer dudes. And that one's close in color, but quite a bit more sheer. So like I said, this pirouette has a little bit of white in the base. So it's a sheer, but it's very buildable. I wanted to say Corelli, but I feel like a Corelli formula, in my opinion, that is really nice builds up in two coats and this is three. So I'd still consider it a sheer, but it's a slightly more opaque sheer. So I loved it. And I love the color tone because I did feel like it's a little bit more nude than those other ones. So I do feel like it's a little bit different. So I can add it to my favorite shears list for sure. I love this one so much. I do have a favorite sheer nude and pale pink <laughs> polish video where I talk about all of them and compare all of them. And you can check that out. I will try to remember to link that down below for you, but I'm definitely adding this one to my list because I do feel like it's a little bit different. So fantastic. Definitely a must have in my opinion. Next up we have Releve and this one's really pretty too. This has a light pink base and it has these really beautiful sparkly, um, I can't tell if they're silver or gold shimmers in there, but they are just so nice. It does have an interesting formula though, I will say just so you know, it's a little bit thicker. I did find that it was a little bit patchy in some areas and you can tend to apply it too thick. So I had to be careful to do some thin layers. I think in my live swatch, you'll see me trying to patch up little areas that were a little dark. And I found that I did have to do that on all my nails. It was a little hard to apply in the live swatch because I can't see as easily. It's really difficult. If you guys <laughs> haven't filmed, it's a little difficult to paint your nails and see everything um, and all the angles and everything. So it's a little bit tricky, but when I was just painting it for the picture, it was a little bit easier to see and a little bit easier to apply than I thought initially, but I did want to show you that because, because of that. But I did feel like it was easy to kind of just touch up those little spots like that. So the form is a little bit different, a little bit interesting, but I still liked it. It does dry a little bit matte and it just looks beautiful. And I love the look of it though, especially when you get the top coat on it, because I did feel like it gave it that kind of acrylic look just because it's a little bit thick like that and a little bit matte. And so it did look like kind of an acrylic nail. And with the top coat on, it was just beautiful and glossy and shimmery. And the top coat kind of helped get rid of that. A little bit of a rough texture, not too bad, but just a little bit. So kind of interesting, but really beautiful, a little bit different. And I do think I will wear this one, but it, the formula is just a little bit tricky just so that you are aware, but I found it to be super fun. I didn't do any comparisons to this one just because I didn't really have anything like this one. I feel like it's quite unique and pretty. Then we have Get to the Point, and this one's beautiful too. I love any of these light pale pink shades. They're some of my favorites to wear any time of the year, and especially spring. And this one's beautiful. I love that this one's a little bit warmer. The format on this one's really interesting too. It's it's a sheer, but it's a more opaque sheer. Probably would say Crelly, but I did feel like you needed to do three coats. So maybe it is a more opaque sheer. I'll let you guys decide, but I'll let you see how it builds up. You can do your coats thicker or thinner, it's going to be different depending on how thick you do your coats. I do love this color quite a bit. I did end up doing comparisons to this one. It was a little easier to do comparisons for, and let's look at those. So I compared it to Moochie Moochie. You guys, every time I pull this polish out, I think it's munchy munchy. I just like food. <laughs> I think I just always have food on my mind. And I know, I know it. I know I say it wrong. I probably type it in there wrong. Ugh, I just cannot get that out of my brain. My brain's special, you guys. It's very special. But anyway, that one's a little more cool toned. And then OPI Tag Us In Your Selfie is close but warmer. Essie Gel Couture Polish and Poised is more nude leaning. But those are the ones that I found were the closest. So I didn't have anything exact. I'm sure there probably is something exact to this out there. It's not like super unique, but I feel like it does have a good balance of warm and cool. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle, but it's beautiful. Then we have this absolutely stunning shade called Toes Down Chin Up, and it is fantastic beautiful. It's a warmer leaning pink, but same thing. It still is a little bit cool looking. 
<laughs> especially compared to the one that's on my nails, but it is fantastic, you guys. It's got this beautiful silver shimmer in there that's just really packed, but it's really fine, and it gives it this really beautiful glow. It's gonna build up, I would say, three coats for this too, just because it's a little bit lighter. You might be able to get away with two, but I would say three for it, just to be sure that you're getting full coverage. It's so good, you guys. This collection really is fantastic, but let's compare it to some other ones that have come out because there's been a few that I have loved and let's see how much I love this one compared to those. <laughs> First I have Olive and June Presents Are My I Love You and that one's very close. It's a little lighter, not quite as pink. And then we have Olive and June Love Note which is a recent release. It's a little bit more of a nude pink and then we have Orly Wistful Water Lily. All of these are really beautiful but they are a little bit different. As far as the light pink ones go, I think I like this one the best. It's just beautiful. And then the Orly Wistful Water Lily is so stunning, you guys. I'm going to wear that pretty soon. When I had that on my nails, I was like, man, <laughs> I am really liking these iridescent shades so much. It just stands out. It's a little bit different. So pretty, but I love that this one's just a little bit more feminine and soft and just totally appropriate for spring. I just love it so much. Then this is the one that's on my nails, and this is Set the Bar High, and it is such a stunning, warmer toned pink that's more of a mid-tone. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's somewhere in the middle. It's got a beautiful creamy formula. I did find that I preferred three thinner coats on this one just because it just evened out so much, but man, it is just stunning and it pops on the nails. And like I said, it looks so good against blue. Love it so much. I even went and got a pedicure this week and got a warm pink on my toes. I'll, I'll put it here so you can see it. it's a D&D &D gel polish, but it's it's gorgeous. It's a little bit darker than this one, but this one's a little bit warmer. Whew. So good. The formula's really great on it too. So let's see how it compares. I couldn't really find anything exact, but let's look closely. So I pulled out Groove is in the Heart, and that one's the closest, almost exact, I would say, but a little bit warmer. Then I have OPI Pink Ladies Rule the School, and that one's close as well. And then I have OPI Racing for Pinks, and that one's cooler and brighter. So there are some that are a little bit close, but I feel like this one's just a little bit brighter than those other ones. It's a little bit different, but if you have those other ones, you can pull them out. But if you want something that's new and warm and beautiful, then don't pass this one up because I really really think that you will love it and I'm excited to pull out some more warm pinks. That's just what I'm going to really go for this spring. Love it so much. Then we have a Spin Me Around and this one's really beautiful. It's a topper I would say. It's a little bit more of a thicker base as well which is really interesting but I do feel like the glitter pieces kind of stayed more in place so I don't know if that's their intent. I do feel like it's more of a topper but I do feel like it covers the color up a little bit more but it's a gorgeous shade and I think this looks beautiful on top of it. I like that this one has, it has an iridescent shift to it that's kind of blue purple and then the shimmer in there is kind of blue and purple as well so it's a little bit different quite unique I don't really have anything like this one I do find it to be really fun um, especially for summer I think everyone's trying to come out with these kind of iridescent shifts with some glitter in there but I think it's really pretty then another glitter topper called center stage and this one's really fun too especially if you like glitter toppers this one has some irregular chunky pinky mauve colored glitter pieces in there and then it has some multicolored smaller glitter pieces in there. I thought it applied very evenly on top of the nail. I'm showing you this applied on top of the white from this collection, Ballet It On Me. Yeah, like I said, it applied really nicely. I don't really wear glitter toppers, but I do love the color tone of this one. I probably won't be wearing it, but it's just because I don't love glitter toppers all that much. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, time to pick my favorites, and I'm excited. I there's some of these that I just really love. I'm going to try to be kind of picky though. Okay, so I picked my favorites. The white I'm definitely putting in there because I do think this is going to be another favorite white of mine. And Pirouette is the beautiful nude one that's similar to like Bubblegum, but a little bit different because it's a little bit more nude. This lighter pink right here, toes down, chin up. This is the one that has a little bit of that shimmer in it. And then this very warm pink that's on my nails called set the bar high. Beautiful shades together. Look how pretty with the blue. <laughs> I can't stop. And um, I'm kind of wanting to look for some more blue shirts to add to my collection because I'm just really liking to wear blue. 
so many fun shades i'm so excited to add this brand in this year let me know down below in the comments which polishes you loved and if you have tried this brand and if you love it thanks so much for watching me don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out thanks so much for joining me i'll see you later polish freaks <laughs> bye